guess what? Something really cool happened a few weeks ago and a company called me and showed me the list of gadgets that they have. They offered to send me those gadgets if I made some video showing how they would work. So I've been asked to do this before, but this is the first time that I've said yes. And you know the reason why? It's because it's WaveShare. <laughs> yeah, and I am proud to tell you that this video is brought to you by WaveShare. Share awesome hardware. And now let's see what are the awesome hardware that they have sent me. Okay, so let's open it up and see what are the things that they have sent me. This one, this is two, and this is the big one. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one. So this one is the ESP32 S3 gig. So let's open it up. So you have the actual unit. Oops. And some cables, connector pins. So let's just open this and see what we have. Okay. So this is like a little goatee double S3 that I've been showing in my channel. And so you can see it has a UART, GPIO, and an I2C interface. This is the boot button, and it has a PF card. Okay, and of course, you have the USB A interface. Now, since this is an S3, it runs at, at 240 megahertz with an 8, me 8 megabytes of PS RAM and flash memory. Okay. So, there's something that we will be using. We'll be trying out the USB Army knife and this one also. And let's gonna check out how we can extend the functionalities of it and how we can do some ESP32 programming with it. Okay, so the next one is an ESP32 again, S3 with an L 1.47 LCD. Okay. So let's open it up. So it doesn't have any expansion cables, but it has some GPIO pins that we can solder. So this one, its main advantage is it has a bigger screen, a colored screen like this. Okay, so it is an ESP32, if you can see it here it has like this a combined 16 mb flash also 8 mb ps ram and flash memory okay so there you have the boot button and you have the reset button and if you look closely on the gpio pins those represent as a gpio and i2c and a uart interface also okay okay so we're gonna try out also the usb army knife here and let's see if there are some modules that we have on the bruce firmware that we can use like for example amplifying the wi-fi um using nrf24 and lastly, this is another ESP32S3 device, but the main difference for this is this. Okay, this is the board. And the board contains several other modules aside from the ESP32. And one module that I'm really excited is this. This is a cellular module that lets you send and receive SMS messages through 2G and 4G, okay? So aside from that, you can see here, this is a camera module, okay? So you can attach a camera here, and it is something that can be used for image detection. 
So you have the SD card here, a USB-C interface, yep, and a power on and off button. Okay, and a battery. You can have also you also have those expansion GPIO pins that you can use to attach different types of module. And in the box also comes a speaker some pads a type c cable this is the compatible camera module a gps module okay so you have the gpio pins and you have in an acrylic case with it oh what excites me is that in this project, what you can do is, since it has a GPS, you can have like a, you can put it in a car and for example, if a car is in a certain location, it can send out a text message or it can, if it has an internet connection, um, it can tell you where it is. So that is a simple project that I will be trying out so let we'll be checking out how we can make the SMS functionality work make the GPS function or read the GPS functionality yeah um do some AI with the image that is being captured here but the processing will be in the cloud not on, on this one because at least this one has 4G and Wi-Fi so there are a lot of possibilities with this board and those are the things that we will be you will be seeing in this channel in the future so there you have it again a big thanks to waveshare for making this possible i'm really excited to start playing around with this hardware and showing it what you can do so be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you get notified when those videos are up and always remember keep on hacking my fellow hackista